In this video, I'm going to uh, explain our approach to how our auto login system is going to work. For this, uh, we need to identify our users, and to do that, uh, for the first visit, we're going to authenticate the user in a normal way. And after that, we're going to have a uh, Remember Me option. By selecting Remember Me option, we're going to store a single user uh, cookie in user's browsers. Uh, in addition to the session cookie. So not just storing the uh, session, but only we're going to use a single use cookie in the user's browsers. And on, when user returns, we're going to use the single use cookie to identify the user. And after that, for the security, stage number four, uh, because we are, uh, sessions can be hijacked, we're going to force re-authentication for sensitive pages like changing the password and etc. Next, uh, for the single use cookies, what we're going to do, values must not be yesable. So we need to use uh, each user, we're going to uh, use a unique eight character ID as a user key. And after assigning this, we're going to generate a random 32 character and hexadecimal string. So not only eight character ID, we're going to use 32 character hexadecimal string. And this has to be random. And after that, we're going to merge a random uh, these two 8 and 32 characters together and perfect with the username. So we're going to have our username, say for example, our username is Hassan, and then we're going to have uh, our 8 character PyPit with the 32 character uh, hexadecimal string. And I'm going to show you even uh, in the examples much even clearer. Uh, and then we're going to save the user key and the token, uh, token into the database. So not only storing the user key, but also we're going to store token into the database. And after that, I'm going to explain how auto-login works. To explain how auto-login works, first we need to find the user key. Then we're going to strip it from the, user, uh, from the cookie token. So say it again, we're going to uh, find the user key and then strip it from the you know, cookie token. And after that, find the user key and token in the database. And if the token hasn't been used, we're going to authenticate the user and generate and store a new single user cookie at the same time. So let's just review it again, recapture it again. Find the user key first, and then we're going to strip it from the cookie token. We're going to find the user key and token in the database. If the user hasn't been used, we're going to authenticate the user. And after that, we're going to generate and store a new single use cookie in the same time you're authenticating the user. And what happened to the session data? See what happened. The new session will be generated each time user returns to the, to the system. Data in session table will be garbage collected as well. And persistent data need to be associated with user. We're going to copy the session data into the auto login table and save it with the user key. And this is going to even work for the multiple devices by with uh, remember me option, existing data is retrieved and most recently created record is selected. Also, data is available even uh, on a different devices in this way. But the, the last one is options need to be need to log out of all sessions uh, or current one. So this is my approach on how to uh, auto login users to the system. So let's just focus on the code in the next movie.